My name is Britt Clayton, and I am here to kick us off for the second day of the Color Art Summer Solstice Educational Event. Thank you guys so much for being here. In case you didn't hear it enough yesterday, for the purposes of limited liability and full disclosure, we are going to go through the rules really fast. There are 19 artists, 19 videos. Watch them all in order. Listen for a secret word or words. Write them down in order. Once you get all of your words written down, read them. They're going to form a phrase. Submit that phrase to the Color Art website by midnight July 28th for an opportunity to win a $400 shopping spree with Color Art. Now you're also going to have the opportunity to win a channel prize, one of 19. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to that artist, like their video, and comment on the video. Each channel will be giving away a mini prism pour set valued at $50. So make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and comment. Make sure it's something really nice. All of the channel winners, as well as the grand prize winner, will be announced on the Color Art website on July 31st. If you have any questions or if you missed anything, all of this information will be in our descriptions below. Okay, I think I got all the legalities out of the way, blah, blah, blah. I'm ready to get this thing started. Let's do it.
in case you're wondering, has the girl gone and lost her mind? Not in this particular instance here. Hang with me, guys. You'll see what I'm doing here in just a bit. Your secret word is others. So the piece is dry 
And in addition to that freesia, I also used some interference blue, interference violet, and interference green. My intent was to add some bling and some sparkle to this piece. And by using these colors as a glaze, it really does bring the piece to life. In case you were wondering why I poured my pearl mix over the dried canvas, I have learned that the primary elements will absorb into a paint that is put on top of it. That was what I wanted it to do. I wanted a very soft but colorful background. And as you can see, that's exactly what I got. Now, the puddle colors also absorbed some of the color, which made this for a very vibrant piece. I am so pleased with the color and the vibrancy of this piece. The resin top coat really did bring the colors out. They're so rich. I'm just really happy with this. Guys, I appreciate you being here. We are always so excited to bring these events to you. And coming up next, making his debut appearance on a color art event is my brother in art, Justin Sally. I will see you over on his channel.